The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Miami, Florida. You can see exactly why the arena is full here tonight. This is a match with major stakes. A major match ahead of her. She plans on proving exactly why she's worthy of big matches like these. Big, bad, and ready to brawl. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. A Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Look at the spectacular physique of this woman. A back so big, you could drive your car up to it and watch a movie on it. I gotta find out what her workout plan is like. Harder than yours, Saxton. Harder than yours. And coming into this matchup, there has been a fire burrowing inside of this superstar. Well, she certainly has the look of someone that's tired of being taken lightly, angry at the disrespect she's been shown. She'll be looking to take, hoping to end it early. And she gets the shoulders up. She's trying to drain some energy with that early cover. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Places her right in the corner. Face full of turnbuckle. Rodriguez with the nice turnaround. Close line. Off with their head. Reversal on top of reversal. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Hurricane Rana. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Answering. A submission, the gory special. I don't know what choice she has except to tap out here. She's going to have to tap. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. And Corey, you have to think this is going to be all about power for young Raquel Rodriguez. It's certainly what I would do. Raquel's a pure athlete, and most women lack the strength she possesses. Lean into what makes her special, and she'll be well on her path to victory. Down they go. And again. Picking up momentum. Yep, yep. Feeding off adrenaline. Raquel interrupts the attack. And this has got to be it. And that'll be a rope break right there. Get ready to elbow drop. Looking for the victory. Two count kick out. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. She sent flying into the corner. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Rodriguez staggers up, but might be put back down for good. Grabs a hold of Rodriguez. Does Rodriguez have any fight left? Cover! Almost had her, but she gets the shoulder up. Seeing is believing, and Raquel.
Raquel is making a believer out of all of us right now after a kick out like that. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? Expected that one. Oh, God! Nice in the arm. Man, what a close line. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Oh, man! Sight set on the top rope. Look at that high Tell me what it's going to take to put her away. She scurries out of there. I don't know who's feeling this more. Her or the crowd. can begin to see it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is beginning to set in. Well, they're starting to breathe heavier. This is the time where matches are won and lost. Grabs the leg. Just tops their opponent. Taking out the knee. Raquel's the paragon of power, and she's making sure everyone knows it. but effective counter, foot to the face. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Hanging back with their own counter. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. This match may be nearing its limit. She's been on the bad end of a beating here, and it's starting to show. Oh, my gosh. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. She wants it Forget it. She's counting sheep. She manages to get control. Oh. Look at them go! Where is the superstar finding this? It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear the capacity crowd following you on that journey. The muscle memory has got to be taken over now. Pure instinct to kick out before three. And Raquel Rodriguez with an epic title. Raquel might have clinched it there. Two. Kicks out. Just kicked out. What is it going to take to keep her down? The answer. Rodriguez hoists her up. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Here is your winner, Raquel Rodriguez. Quite the win for her here. The entire women's division was watching this one, and she is the one to watch, guys. Let's see what she can do.
The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Norwich, England, Sarah. I can't believe some of the things this athlete has been saying about their opponents ahead of this and every match. Just going around insulting people. Well, Saxon, I think that's completely unfair. Those insults are just part of an intricate mind game being played. That is a sound strategy for any competitor and produces an edge in this match. And her partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! A third generation star who at times has carried the women's division on her shoulders. Oh, to that point, Natalia has won more matches than any other woman in WWE history. Natalia has a great mixture of mat wrestling skill as well as pure power. The Queen of Hearts is about to hold court. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And from Shalom, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Well, if you look up power hungry in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure you'll see Sonya Deville's picture. All you need to know, Byron, is Sonya is here to take what she deserves and take it forcefully. That's it. All right. She's a powerful striker with a very extensive mixed martial arts background. Yeah, Sonya Deville never pulls her punches, but does like to pull strings behind the scenes. Now, been a recipe for success for her at times, though. Well, this is a true ballsy entrance. Superstars in history, but she has quickly grown in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Hey guys, I've been practicing this. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> that wouldn't have scared off a mailman. Is she a rooster? Uh, you don't get it. Taking it old school tonight with a little two on two tag team action. Uh oh. Dragons. There's the save. How close was that?
Double chicken wing. Oh, oh the back of the net. Oh, they kick out at only one. Wow, I thought this was over. Measured kick to the vertebrae. Plenty of hits coming her way now. From the middle rope. Oh, she misses the mark. Dodges out of the way. Oh, Shotzi caught by the counter. This is making me nervous. Oh, my goodness! Oh, what a fall! Not the position you want to be in right now. Ooh, that's too soft in the throat. a unique application of a hammer lock. Oh, Got their opponent all tied up. This is unique offense and painful as well. The advantage is turned toward Shotzi. Yeah, Shotzi following through on her motto and taking care of business. She's starting to drag a little bit. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Made her pay for her mistake. That's the trigger for her to battle her way back into this. Big impact off the neck breaker. The ballsy badass taking her eye off the... Well, the ball here. I'm not sure how smart that is. Oh! Tag's made. Whips across the rank. And a double shoulder block. She's able to make it. Face, face buster. buster. Trapping the wrist and the knee to the jaw. Kick to the gun. Oh, brutal forearm. That offense taking a toll on her. Sonya Deville with the reversal. She'll be able to do it again. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Vicious arm stop. Oh, that'll 
That'll do some serious damage. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. All the momentum has swung to Natalya. Yeah, now he's proven hard to keep up with. in the nick of time. Three. And a drop kick. Kick 
picture perfect. Shotzi kindly requests that you never wake up. This war is all but over. There's two. Kick out. Thought that was the end of her. I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. <laughs> Impressive reversal there. one matchup that lived up to its billing and then some. Here are your winners. Sonya Deville and Shotzi. And teamwork makes the dream work in this tag team victory. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart I don't come across these two in the future. An up-and-coming talent in the women's division. Yeah, I'll tell you, a few women have the heart and determination of Aaliyah. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Aaliyah! And Aaliyah did not have a short or easy road to the main roster, but she is thriving now. Already a women's tag team title reign to her name and much, much more to come. Man, look at Aaliyah. She's just so excited to be performing for the WWE Universe tonight. Well, let's see if that excitement translates to a win. A woman who calls herself undeniable. She certainly lived up to that moniker thus far. And representing the bad girls. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! I love Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. 
I have every bit of confidence that she will. Aaliyah calls herself the bougie badass, a nickname that describes her fancy lifestyle and her willingness to fight hard in the ring. As glamorous as she is competitive, that's Aaliyah. She's never been one to shy away from the spotlight, but when it's time to get serious, she's all business. It's a work hard, play hard type of attitude that has paid off for Aaliyah so far. Yeah, but you also have a superstar like Zoe Stark, one of the true powerhouses of the women's division, facing off against her right now. Cover here. It kicks out at two. Well, that might have been closer than she thought it would be. Zoe Stark refuses to ever back down from a fight, but taking on anyone at any time sometimes means you're in a fight with minimal preparation. Good point, Corey. If you're up against Stark, you need to do more homework on her than she's done on you. Lights out, Cyclone kick. Penny predicament, shoulders down. Too early for that pin attempt. Aaliyah quickly moves. Across the knee, heel hook oh. locked in. This is painful. She's got an answer for that. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. Finds a counter from Stark. Zoe with the retaliation. Series of reversals. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Dark trying to put her opponent off balance. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. This match is wearing her down. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Goes down low with a basement knee. Cover! Two! No! Kicks out! The end was in sight. Hoist it up. Hoist it up. And hits K! 360. That's it. Zoe just... Absolutely exhausted. Put everything into the match here tonight, and oh, look who's here. But there is no time to rest. You can feel the tensions rising.
The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. Warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He is transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish Warriors' battleground, and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. Problem telling you he is headed straight to the top. Truly one of a kind. And his opponent, representing Hit Row from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 330 pounds. Top dollar. He is known to spit bars and drop diss tracks on his opponents. Backs up as Rhymes in the ring, here to get the bag. Look at you two with all the lingo. Hey, Corey, we know what's good. Don't be jealous. I immediately retract my previous statement. This guy is going to need to seize control from the Scottish Warrior. But trust me, McIntyre is not going to go down without a hell of a fight. Drew McIntyre was once the hand-picked chosen one of WWE. But in the end, all of his success has been the result of good old-fashioned hard work. Yeah, credit to McIntyre. Everything he's got, he earned here in WWE. He's a terrific example of the heights you can achieve when you set your mind to it. And tonight, Drew's got his mind set on continuing his success story by putting his head down and going to work in this matchup. But across the ring from him is the one and only Top Dalla. An intimidating enforcer, Top Dalla is six foot five and 350 pounds of pure power. He hoists men into the air and tosses them around like they don't weigh anything at all. That's right, Saxon. Top Dalla is a true behemoth. He'll crush anyone who comes in between him and a big payday. This man doesn't mess around when it comes to his money. Has him wrangled. Spike with a Michinoku driver. Oh, Top Dollar's power couldn't do much for him there. You can see McIntyre there went to work on his opponent. Big splash. Just a dominant display. Look at this power slam. Drew McIntyre, you can see that he's meticulously built up his entire body. Does Drew's incredible physical fitness make a difference in this match? Of course it does. Drew's practically at the peak of human conditioning. No matter where this match goes, Drew has all the physical ability he needs to keep up. And the more he's able to put his endless athleticism to work in the ring, the better his chances are of winning. Wreck. 
reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, I can't. It's absolutely nuts. The countdown is on, gentlemen. McIntyre sets up. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Ricochet has seen plenty of success here in WWE. Won titles with his unbelievable agility. It's like Ricochet found the options menu for life and turned off the gravity option. Yeah, no camera tricks, no hidden wires. Ricochet, he's the real deal.
A man free of bloodlines who still thinks he's pretty oozy. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is a man who's always had the promise, the potential, but he delivered on that promise and that potential when he took Roman Reigns to his absolute limit in a main event battle. Yeah, and now the entire world knows what Sami's always believed, that Sami Zayn is a main event talent who can reach the top of WWE. The WWE fans about to see Sami Zayn doing what he does best. Before this match, Ricochet said he wants to be a beacon of hope, that there is no dream too big. Sometimes I think Ricochet says those kind of things less to convince others and more to convince himself. There's a constant confidence check on Ricochet's head. I don't know if I can agree with that, Corey. And unfortunately for all of us, he's in there tonight with Sami Zayn. This guy is just a parasite and a cheat. He never met a shortcut he didn't want to take. Ricochet has got to be one of the most explosive superstars that's ever stepped into a WWE ring. What do you have to do to make sure you're not in his blast radius, Corey? Just like fire, Ricochet needs air to survive. If his opponent can keep him on the ground, he'll mitigate Ricochet's dangerous aerial offense. The Tetlip German suplex. And Zayn looked rocked. If he's got a strategy, he might want to think about tapping into it. Yeah, well, Ricochet can build up some confidence after that. Nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, my goodness. As if Sammy couldn't be any more annoying. Uh-oh. Oh, God. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Whoa. A slingshot into a oh, oh, Ouch. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Saw that one coming, took advantage. And gets tossed back into the mat. Set up in the corner of the ring. Close line in the corner. 
Zayn must be phased after this string of action. You have to look Ricochet from the top. Oh, oh. Setting up. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. And Sammy is countered. He's got him in the crosshairs. Dodges. Big overhand. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Shortcuts from Sammy there, Saxton. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, let's just see where Sammy keeps his focus on in the long run. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. No way. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. An absolutely foolhardy decision. On the apron. Oh, the way to the outside. Throws the opposition back into the ring. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Check out the springboard. The springboard attack fails to land. Beautiful drop kick. Oh, Zane anticipated that. Ow. He's positioning himself, closing in. for nothing. How else do you explain that kick out from Ricochet? The man is not human. And I'm sure Sammy is going to find a way to twist this into blame. Oh, Ricochet felt that one big time. Cover! He stays alive. He stays alive. That was a miracle, gentlemen. I don't know how, but Ricochet stayed alive. And Zane is losing his mind right now. I'm sure he's already working on a conspiracy theory about this. Kidding me. He skirts around it. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Oh my goodness, that was even worse. Decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Ricochet heads up, thinking high risk. Are you kidding me? These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Ricochet. 
He definitely got the job done tonight. Sami Zayn just suffered another miscarriage of justice. Oh, that's a shame. From out of the shadows, Uncle Howdy is here. A being who seems to dwell in the darkest parts of our minds. Might be a spirit, maybe an alter ego, perhaps an evil twin. The truth is, we just don't know. Looking at the face of Uncle Howdy, it is truly a frightening sight. Just that creepy mask alone. And I shudder to think of the pure evil lingering under that mask. Now, you're not the only one, Saxton. These are the ultimate mind games being played by Uncle Howdy. We've seen Uncle Howdy's attacks have devastating consequences, but what happens when he steps inside the ring to actually compete? Well, Byron, we're about to find out, and I've got an ominous feeling it's going to be horrifying. The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault.
You can feel the anticipation here as Bray Wyatt commands the WWE Universe. A man who always succeeds in unnerving his opponents. about to unleash his true viciousness. I'm kind of scared to watch. And a combined weight of 501 pounds. Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Classic tag team action set to get underway. Anything we should know, Corey? Tag your partner, trust your partner, pin the other guys. That about cover it? Sounds good to me. Boom, nice. And fiery Larian. Oh, right to the throat. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. And look at hung up on the second rope. Oh, look at his aggression. Capitalizing on Sokoa's mistake. Hoist it up. An impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Sokoa keeping his opponent at bay. Ah, oh, right to the throat. Able to reverse that one. Down with a suplex. Does he have him here? Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Bray Wyatt measuring his man. Uh-oh. Got the knees up. Uh-oh. Some of them drop! Go, go, go! Mm. Uh. Big back body drop! You see that height on that? Uh. Some of them drop! Ow! Oh. Get this straight. Big power slam. Boom. Solo with a timely kick. Right go. Boom. Samoa spike. That's one for Sokoa before. with gas. 
Cross now.
I mean, this team has gotten so good. This superstar. Oh, no. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look at these two just battering their opponents. Why? Yeah. Why? What's the point of this, Graves? It's making a statement by any means necessary. She is quite simply the baddest. Yeah, and the competition is going to find that out in just a moment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. The baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. And arguably one of the most highest profile signings we've ever seen in WWE. And you can thank one person for that oh, signing by here we go Stephanie McMahon we are about to see a martial arts masterpiece both on the ramp and in the ring From Chongqing, China, Zaya Lee. Well, Zaya has an impressive martial arts background. As Zaya is certainly well versed in the art of combat, the protector has arrived. Oh, Zaya Lee brings such a dramatic intensity to the ring. about Ronda Rousey is her incredible intensity inside the ring. She stares down her opponents with an unbreaking, steely gaze that can be very intimidating. Frankly, the way Ronda looks at her opponents puts even a little chill down my spine. It's as if she totally locks in on them, like a predator eyeing its prey. Well, that focus often delivers big results for Ronda as she tends to quickly destroy any opposition she sets her sights on. And with Zia Lee, you have a competitor who believes she's on a righteous path of justice, one lethal offensive maneuver at a time. Never backing down. Here's the cover for the win. And a strong kick out in one. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. Ronda at a disadvantage. Sleeper hold cinched in deep. Fade it. We could be starting to fade. No. Two. Oh, Lee may be realizing that her competition won't be run to back down either. Ronda coming at her with incredible intensity. Corey, despite all the success she's amassed, both inside and outside of the squared circle, some opponents of Ronda Rousey consider her lack of WWE experience something they can exploit. With that in mind, might Rousey actually be the underdog tonight? An underdog? Not necessarily. More like underestimated. Most of Ronda's opponents have a habit of expecting less in-ring depth from her because of her firsthand lack of experience, but she can use that underestimation to her advantage. Back with a counter. Oh, Roundhouse connects. Yeah. Oh, man. Athleticism here from Rousey. 
Look at this, just unloading. Oh, nasty stomp to finish it off. She sent flying into the corner. Look at this, just tearing away in the corner. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. <gasps> Rousey scoops up her opponent. Signature focus of Ronda Rousey. She's totally locked in on defeating her opponent. Uses an elbow to disrupt that. She saw that one come. Ronda Rousey to the aggressor. Nice takedown. The patented Rousey armbar locked in. She gives up. Submission victory. And that's all she wrote. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt, barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 228 pounds, CM Punk. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. Oh my God, we're awaiting catastrophic levels of carnage from Brock Lesnar. The forecast tonight calls for an F5. The Beast is here. Time for a beatdown, cowboy style. And his opponent, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds. The Beast Incarnate has been involved in some of WWE's biggest matches. He's always a spectacle to see in action. And there are undoubtedly more unforgettable moments on their way. It's time to do it the Cowboy way.
Brock Lesnar began his career dominating WWE, was nearly unstoppable in MMA, and has spent over a decade dominating the WWE landscape since returning. A man who has been virtually unstoppable. We've got one of the most outspoken superstars on the roster in the ring right now. Yeah, Cole, he's made it very clear what his intentions are and that no one is going to stop him. They might be intentions, but only time will tell if he's a man of his word. And then there is the Brock Lesnar, a superstar seemingly built to destroy and conquer anyone who steps foot in his path. Now, I honestly can't imagine standing across the ring from Lesnar and not playing a greatest hits of all the battles he's won. All the superstars he's so emphatically dominated on a loop in your brain. The man definitely has a well-deserved reputation. Knee right to the back. Oh, costly error there. Some good hits. What a suplex. Brock Lesnar, of course, known as the Conqueror. Corey, how exactly do you prepare for a competitor unlike any other? So you make a good point, Cole. There really is no one else. No way. Oh, no. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Oh, what a counter. Two. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Lesnar quick to counter. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, punch to the gut. I think the wind right out of you. He's able to combat out of Brock's grip. Would you just look at him? Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. That dominating style of offense from Lesnar taking a bit of a back seat there. Right across the back of the net. Look at this! What a cross body! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. And he tosses it back in now. Check out the springboard. Oh, costly error there. This superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out, moments ago, back in it now. He's been placed in the corner now.
this deep into a match is where trouble rises, where injuries may occur. You got to think long term and consider your future fights. And I guarantee you that throwing in the towel is the furthest thing these superstars are thinking about. Lesnar cuts him off. Lesnar scales all the way up top. Launcher. And he saw that coming from Brock. Straight forward. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. No, that was a hair-brained idea to try that. They was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. And that's going to impair Brock even more. Yeah, Brock being faced with adversity here. If this works, it could change the course of the match. Here we go. Splash! No, no, no. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Take a look back at these guys in action. Here is your winner, CM Punk. Well, you can't really argue with a win like that, guys. I am awestruck, gentlemen. We just witnessed another human being overcome the beast incarnate.